Hello, this is World University and Schools News and Question and Answer on Monday, July 18th, 2022. And I'm Scott McLeod. And as we wait to see if people will join us for this open conversation, which also gets recorded to YouTube, uh, I post this to youtube.com forward slash WORLD. U-N-I-V-A-N-D-S-C-H, uh, which I've also recently added to the main World University and School Twitter feed at twitter.com forward slash W-O-R-L-D U-N-I-V-A-N-D-S-C-H. As we wait to see if people will join us, I'd like to share a little news with you. Uh, I'm glad to say World University and School is proceeding with uh, seeking students, uh, another cohort of students, potentially this September 1st, 2022. And that's uh, a new development in a related way is seeking to collaborate um, potentially with Sidwell Friends High School in the Washington DC, uh, in Washington DC. And uh, potentially also um, newly with uh, an inquiry to Anne-Marie Helm, who is a Sidwell Friends alumni, alumna, uh, who's now in the Nashville, Tennessee area, uh, but was formerly um, in San Francisco at uh, UC Hastings Law School, where she was uh, an instructor, I think, uh, for some uh, months, uh, as well as uh, doing other things there. Uh, she went to the University of Virginia as an undergraduate and um, to Emory Law School after that. Uh, so it's exciting to be in communication with Emory Helm uh, with regard to uh, possibly uh, developing a world university and school in communication with Sidwell. So that Sidwell Friends alumni 18 year olds, for example, could begin to um, study for free CC4, ocw.mit.edu centric bachelor degrees, four years at World University and School online from home after they've graduated from Sidwell Friends. Uh, we'll see how this further develops. This is something uh, World University and School has been exploring in monthly business meeting the past few months, the past few third Saturdays at 9 a.m. Pacific time for an hour in an open monthly business meeting, uh, also now on video conference. Uh, so stay tuned for these upcoming developments, whether Sidwell Friends students uh, possibly newly with World University and School in communication with Emory Helm, could um, matriculate September 1st or uh, in the new year, 2023, um, early January, are unfolding questions. In a related vein, after a monthly business meeting uh, on Saturday, two days ago, uh, July 16th, 2022, uh, which recording is posted to youtube.com forward slash W-O-R-L-D, U-N-I-V, A-N-D-S-C-H, uh, as well as to both of World University and School's blogs, web logs. Uh, World University and School is uh, seeking to build on these amazing platforms uh, that have emerged in recent years. The Creative Commons for licensed ocw.mit.edu uh, with its approximately 2,600 courses from MIT free uh, to share, adaptable. We can add AI. Uh, World University and School could develop these newly with artificial intelligence and machine learning, for example, adapt them in other ways. Um, and also, uh, but non-commercially, World University and School also with this new platform in a sense of uh, Creative Commons for computer science. CS First with Google at World University and School 
as the course's name, learning the programming language, uh, Scratch, which is a block programming language, a drag and drop program programming language, where students do projects uh, where uh, the design of CC4, uh, CS first with Google at WUAS, has taken into account uh, in standards from educational associations that could inform newly an accreditation process. Uh, so this is the sort of second news item where uh, World University and School is circling around uh, now to with this new CS first with Google uh, possible platform. It's Creative Commons for licensed circling around to licensing and accrediting uh, questions again. So uh, 2019 or so, World University and School attended a uh, State of California Agencies Bureau for Private Post-Secondary Education meeting in San Jose, California. I think it might have been February 14th, 2019. And uh, that was for, at the time, a two-year process of organizations, those who attended this workshop, uh, possibly beginning a licensing process with BPPE. That would include um, a series of um, possibly new approaches to licensing from the state of California for online education. And so World University and School is circling around regarding licensing again with the BPP with BPPE, uh, where they haven't um, been very active in these past three years on their Twitter feed, for example, uh, in ways that might um, address possibly the issues that have come up with education and information technology, education online, uh, or that maybe they're in the process of seeking to address those issues. Uh, so part of the licensing with BPPE, a state of California agency process, toward accreditation uh, would involve um, accreditation with uh, WASC Senior, Western Association of Schools and Colleges. I uh, had a meeting with a vice president in 2013, a long time ago, nine years ago, um, with WASC Senior in Alameda, Oakland, California, in the San Francisco Bay Area. And there, there was a sort of three-stage process of accreditation that worked hand in hand with the BPPE two-year initial licensing process. Where these two interact, interoperable agencies, uh, the state of California's BPPE and the independent WASC senior uh, accreditation agency are right now maybe developing in new ways with even uh, CS first with Google at WUAS and with um, all the other educational projects, colleges, universities in California that would like uh, BPPE licensing uh, in this new information age, along with becoming accredited uh, by WASC Senior or any number of other organizations. So we're circling around, World University and School is circling around and seeing if new accreditation licensing opportunities are emerging with regard to um, also this new CS First with Google at WUAS platform. Uh, and for our students and potentially for Sidwell Friends students, could Washington DC um, itself as uh, an, uh, uh, an a legal, uh, not a nation, it's not a state of the United States, but it's a um, uh, administrative uh, entity in the US, separate from the 50 US states. Could Washington DC and also uh, surrounding US states, such as Maryland and Virginia, which might 
uh, have students who have just graduated from Sidwell Friends High School, Quaker, historically Quaker High School in Washington, D.C., uh, invite Sidwell Friends students to take courses at World University and School, see us first with Google at WUS courses and cc4ocw.mit.edu centric courses for free degrees, where even Washington, D.C. and the state of Virginia and the state of Maryland might reimburse World University and School on our, with our regard also to our new platform uh, that's uh, the Wikidata, Wikibase.cloud um, media wiki platform, which we've create, completed our migration journey with, uh, or two. Uh, could uh, we develop now in new ways licensing and accreditation, possibly with BPPE and WASC Senior and CS First with Google, um, which might become a platform for ocw.mit.edu courses at World University and School. And such that World University and School in communication with Anne-Marie Helm, a Sidwell Friends alumna, could attract Sidwell Friends students uh, beginning potentially uh, September 1st or 2022 or January 1st, 2023 or similar. So that's the second item of news. First, new inquiry with Anne-Marie Helm, Sidwell Friends alumna, about collaboration with Sidwell Friends, finding cohorts of students. Second, um, new approaches circling around to um, licensing and accreditation questions in new ways with CS First with Google at WUAS. Uh, the third item I'd like to share with you this morning um, has to do with, uh, this is a, a, a research question that World University and School is beginning to explore further. And with regard to a realistic virtual earth for uh, science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and arts, STEMA or STEAM, um, but in a single realistic virtual earth. And even for, uh, this is brainstorming wise, uh, aging reversal genetics and related emerging drug therapies, and also longevity genetics, and how a realistic virtual earth might work even research-wise with World University and School, the WUAS Corporation, developing a smartwatch that might contain both the gel electrophoresis uh, for DNA sequencing separation at the molecular level, and how such a smartwatch might also contain molecular cloning technologies uh, that would connect in this smartwatch via the web, even with a realistic virtual earth for genetics and uh, which might contain avatar bot electronic medical records, electronic medical records with avatar bots of you and I for eventual genetic engineering, genetic editing, uh, such that we could explore in the watch um, with a skin patch that might allow these, these two kinds of molecular machineries, brainstorming wise, uh, to interface with people's bodies themselves. So could we, from the virtual earth, a realistic virtual earth for genetics, uh, begin to further do research on genetic engineering in avatar bot electronic medical records, upload that to a smartwatch, which would further contain this, these uh, molecular uh, processes for genetics, uh, that might even be in the smartwatch connected to new molecular microelectronic 
chips or semiconductors, such as the Roswell chip. It was recently mentioned on Harvard and MIT professor of genetics, George Church's Twitter feed, molecular micro, microelectronics chip, uh, such that uh, new approaches to genetic engineering for longevity genetics and aging reversal genetics uh, could be developed with the technologies that would facilitate these. So World University, so that's sort of the third bit of news today I'd like to share with you. And World University and School would like to explore uh, such aging reversal research and longevity genetics research with potentially fourth news item, uh, six to 10 model organisms and both physically and digitally for experiments uh, in a realistic virtual earth for genetics, for longevity genetics and aging reversal genetics. So think Google Street View with time slider, with a time slider, Google Maps, Google Earth, uh, TensorFlow, artificial intelligence, translate not only at the street view level, but at the cellular and molecular levels uh, for avatar bot electronic medical records. And with the 10 species of um, humans, dogs, mice, chickens, honeybees, uh, Drosophila fly, C. elegans, a one millimeter long nematode worm, um, some sort of amphibious creature like a frog, um, the um, zebrafish, so an aqueous uh, creature, an aqueous species, uh, and yeast. Um, which is which may be a single cellular uh, organism as well. Uh, C. elegans, this one millimeter long worm, has only 302 um, neurons, which make up its nervous system or its very rudimentary brain, if you want to call it that. Um, honeybees go back to the time of the dinosaur, so they're a very old organism species. Um, the first three are, I mentioned, humans, dogs, mice are mammals. So the females are all milk bearing. That would be fascinating to explore uh, in a realistic virtual earth for genetics, a realistic virtual earth for genomics. Could one extrapolate a model from a realistic virtual earth, virtual reality to um, milk bearing, milk giving? Uh, could the avatar bots of humans dogs and mice um, show the genetics, genomics of producing milk in these three mammals. And similarly with chickens, honeybees, and Drosophila flies, uh, they're all flying creatures. Flight is a fascinating evolutionary biological development um, and would be fascinating also to explore in uh, a realistic virtual earth for genomics. Uh, could one extrapolate from the genes to genomics to sort of a, maybe an epigenetics question to flight for these three species? Well, where do, does genetics um, make possible flight in these three very different species? Chickens which don't fly so much anymore, may never have fly, flown that much, I don't know. Uh, chickens, um, honeybees, and uh, Drosophila flies. So there's much potential for uh, both aging reversal and longevity genetics engineering drug therapies in a realistic virtual earth for genetics for all these 10 species to explore both virtually in a realistic virtual earth for genomics, as well as physically, um, I think the C. elegans uh, nematode worm is the uh, shortest lived of these creatures. Maybe yeast are shorter lived. Um, but with neurons, the C. elegans also share something in common, with, for example, with humans. Uh, in what ways could World University and School add, on the physical side of things, genes 
back in, which lose function, decline in function as a species or an organism ages, per Harvard and MIT, professor of genetics, George Church, add back genes into the C. elegans nematode worm such that it could, if its upper limit of lifespan is five weeks, live for 10 weeks. It's a short enough lifespan um, to be able to uh, do experiments over many generations even in interesting ways, I think, um, and both physically as well as virtually. Uh, so that's the fourth bit of news I'd like to share with you. Fifth bit of news uh, we approached and talked about in World University School, the WS Corporation's uh, monthly business meeting this past Saturday, July 16th, 2022. And that's that World University and School, the WS Corporation, is into the new database or up great uh, iterating databases. I see this or think about this for uh, the quote, my FTB, Franchise Tax Board account, end quote, a generation process. So after some 12 years, we're finally, uh, and having tried to get into the Franchise Tax Board's website um, over some years now, three or four or five years, unsuccessfully, maybe because of how it was coded and how it was iterating, the World University and School is now um, into it. And we've linked the WS Corporation in the state of California's FTB account generation process with our nonprofit uh, federal US 501c3 initially. And soon I think we'll add uh, the state of California World University and School exempt nonprofit legal entity, a third legal entity um, in this uh, WS My FTB account generation process um, and have these three legal entities all in my FTB account. Uh, and these databases will interoperate with um, each other uh, and legally as well in interesting ways uh, so that World University and School may be able to begin to grow. We haven't hired yet in some 15 years, for example. And I think that would be a fascinating uh, first um, step of growth for World University and School. Uh, historically, in the information technology revolution uh, and companies as well, the, the, the first employee um, is a significant um, development or milestone or um, uh, interesting historical uh, growth uh, item. So, with these three entities together, World University and School would be at the federal level a nonprofit 501c3 tax exempt charity. Uh, and potentially, we would be able to attract um, non -phil philanthropists and philanthropies that might want to give money to World University and School uh, as a 501c3. So, as a, so, this is sort of the sixth item as a the first legal entity is a ws corp academic press at world university and school as a for-profit general stock company in the state of california uh, world university and school is exploring the possibility with this legal entity now newly in the my, my ftb account uh, generation system uh, is exploring listing uh, possibly as a stock company on the new Silicon Valley long-term stock exchange and even uh, listing potentially um, in collaboration with, if it's at all possible, the Stanford MindPy um, cryptocurrency free money daily which you can begin to mine or get free money daily from with this invitation code, for example, of many, S-G-K-M-A-C. Go to the minepie.com, 
website, download the app, use that as an invitation code, and you can begin to get free money daily. And you will see how the algorithms increase by the second in your app, your Stanford Mind Pi app. Well, World University and School would like to explore coding in all 200 countries, each a major online university for individuals there, and also coding for as wiki teachers and learners, speakers of all 7,151 known living languages per the ethnologue um, in all of these 200 countries. And further, World Uni the WS Corporation would like to explore coding for all 7.9 billion people on the planet, each a Wikidata pin number, and as wiki teachers and learners potentially, and also potentially to distribute a single cryptocurrency or a main very widespread cryptocurrency, such as Stanford Mine Pi cryptocurrency, which is newly become part of the main net blockchain, which I think all serious cryptocurrencies become part of, where exchanges may occur in new ways as the whole notion of money changes with cryptocurrencies. And World University and School would uh, seek to even end poverty uh, in coding for all 7.9 billion people with universal basic income uh, experiments, UBI experiments, uh, that would also uh, facilitate um, the universal word more directly. This would involve uh, potentially planning for uh, even either the 6 billion people who already have smartphones, getting smartphones that could mine Stanford Mine Pi, or out of the 7.9 billion people. This is an estimate on that I've seen on well, searching from Google in Google search. But also, um, if planning for other means um, beyond people having the smartphones that would allow them to get Pi cryptocurrency or any of the other cryptocurrencies out there, um, possibly uh, anticipating new developments with information technologies in these regards, anticipating electricity needs, um, people who these uh, 6 billion people who have uh, smartphones presumably all have ways to generate electricity to power their smartphones. Um, how to get the electricity to the remaining 2.9 billion people on the planet uh, are, who might not have electricity, for example, would all be part of this World University and School WS Corporation planning for 7.9 billion people, each a wiki data pin number at, uh, you can go to the wiki subject page, you at World University in MediaWiki and World University and Schools MediaWiki. Uh, so that's the sixth bit of news I'd like to share with you um, today. Uh, I think I'm gonna close here. Um, it's possible that, um, this unfolding conversation with Sidwell Friends High School, thanks to also Paul Alec Anderson's uh, George Fox University professor near Portland, Oregon, who on June 12th said, congratulations, Sidwell Friends and Scott McLeod on Twitter. It's possible that World University and School will uh, find matriculating students from Sidwell Friends as our platform develops further with CS First with Google at World University and School, if Sidwell Friends teachers, for example, can say what they want to CS First with Google at World University and School, in conjunction with ocw.mit.edu, uh, which World University and School's courses are building on. Um, so stay tuned. Um, Twitter feed is twitter.com forward slash W-O-R-L-D-U-N-I-V-A-N-D-S-C-H. 
uh, the YouTube uh, stream website URL is youtube.com forward slash WORLD, U-N-I-V-A-N-D-S-C-H. World University and School continues to seek undergraduate students uh, beginning September 1st, 2022, uh, and also potentially in early January, 2023, for free to students online uh, bachelor's degrees, as well as PhD degrees, and as well as law degrees and MD degrees, and eventually IB high school degrees, and also uh, potentially in each of all two or 200 countries, each a major online university and uh, secondary education institution, and in their main and official languages, such as in India's 22 scheduled or official languages, and in country of Ghana, in West Africa's 11 government languages uh, for these free online degrees. Uh, so meeting at worlduniversityandschool.org is the uh, email address if you'd like to join in in the next uh, World University and School News and Question and Answer on Monday, the 25th um, of July, 2022, or future Mondays at 10 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, until that time, I'm Scott McLeod. Bye for now from worlduniversityandschool.org and the WS Corp and the academic press at World University and School. Uh, worlduniversityandschool.org is the website. Check out the Twitter feed and the youtube.com feed at W-O-R-L-D-U-N-I-V-A-N-D-S-C-H. Bye for now.